Dreams, hopes, aspirations, the basis of human happiness and life as we know it, our longing for the unthinkable, the unimaginable, the impossible is a special gift. And it's a gift given to us at the first sign of life. Even in the womb, we are special little dreamers, thinkers, believers. No dream is too big for this world. No imagination too vast for the nooks and crannies of this universe. We ponder the wonders of the unknown. We long for our fantastic ideas to become a reality. We are always on a journey. That is why imagination must be a realm where we all are free. A super world where dreams are just as real as the air entering your lungs right now. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you will land amongst the stars. As humans, we started at very humble roots. Who knew the knocking of two stones would put us on a track for greatness? In the very beginning, on the walls of caves, in the darkest of places, a path that would lead us to the future now. Our ancestors imagined, dreamed, and documented their lives. The trend will never stop. We created art. Imagination is a great thing. When you like come up to really cool and fantastic stuff. Like you're trying to get the you're trying to make the pop song. You're trying to make the thing that everybody is gonna like. You want it pure and you want it directly from you. As individuals, we see things others may not see. Originality has the ability to supersede our physical eyes. It allows us to see things from different angles, different paradigms, to experience a string of thought few have woven. Our own personal explorations of ourselves serve us better than any other single thing in the world. Imagination is a vast array of tangent thought and curiosity that holds our hand and leads the way. Imagination should never be selfish. It should instead allow us to peer into one another's sandbox, creating windows of energy so beautiful it deserves a hearing in the court of dreams. As conscious beings, we must not only follow our own imaginations, but also be stewards and cultivators of the imaginations of others. Look around and see what you can do to fulfill a goal, yours or someone else's. Definitely listen to your imagination. I would suggest uh, meditating, paying attention to your inner thoughts, and reaching for that imagination, that spirit. Um, that's going to give you, as I said, purpose in life and direction. This is a beautiful day. All these kites flying, all these kids running around. I think this is all, you know, what it's all about. Enjoying life. I think we're coming to a point in time in human history where um, Everything that we have come to know as far as culture and institutions needs to be uh, redefined and replaced with different paradigms of thinking. And we're going to have to think about things a little bit differently. This is the way things are, and you, you have to like it. And that's what I think, to me, ruins imagination. Corporate America ruins imagination. Um, the merchandise, merchandising industry I used to work in ruins imagination because it's run by people who don't have it. Um, but they don't have imagination, and you can't, and you can't really, you can't really like explain imaginative ideas to them. 
So that's why mainstream culture does not have an imagination. It's just, if you don't have the innate talent, if you just have the creativity, and I think everybody's creative, and there's a lot of theories about art. You know, I think the thing is, is that a lot of people nowadays are really having problems with is that they wake up and they don't have an end goal. They don't have something they want to get to. And I think it's just nailing down that goal, keep making, keep creating, keep doing what drives you to make it. Because I make these things and I have a drive to make them things that I do. It's just in like whatever way you want to funnel it. It doesn't have to be something glorious. You know, it doesn't have to be this like masterpiece painting. The hardest part about working in that damn shop is just walking into the shop. If I can get into the shop to take that first step, then I'm good. But if I sit there and think about it, then you're f***ing, you know. And sometimes it's not really, I think when you start off, you're more into little aesthetic details of things. Like you want this red to be that red and you want it to look, this line to look that way and it has to be perfect. You know, like when you're a little kid, like kids try to draw realism and they can't get it and they get mad and they throw it away. And it's like, no, just be, let it, let it do whatever you can do, you know? Imagination is something everyone has, but little is done to nourish this power. As a society, we must swing into action and open the door to each other's hearts. Rolling. Imagination is where each, uh, each person has their own world. Different places, different secrets. It's just by being themselves. It could be a special future, like what they want to do. Imagination is planning things, like what you think. And sometimes as you get older, you, you might forget, because adults might think that's too kiddy. Share, give, grow with one another. This creates the animal we know as creativity, a wild, eccentric, colorful creature that feeds on imagination. The creative, imaginative one is never alone. The things that are hidden in the void of space and time become sentinels of thought in our beautiful minds. Share your ideas with others. It doesn't have to be gilded. It only has to be what it is, a natural thought coming from the natural human. Together we can transmute. Together we can dream. Like one time I had a dream about that my dad bought me like five or five, four dogs and I, I wished it was real when I like woke up. I actually told my dad and then he's like, you are crazy. I'm like, well, that's imagination. I mean, I like dreaming. Long time forgotten, all the dreams that just fill my way. It comes from a very personal place and that's the magic. That's what you want. Imagination can, can, can create all kinds of things. It's very visionary. Uh, that's the great part. Creative art is probably the entrance. I mean, that's creative art is something you do very, very personal. It's actually a very selfish act. And then the performance art 
is a totally selfless act. It's the exit door. You're throwing it out there for people to um, explore, experience, uh, whatever. But um, I, th- I believe the imagination part of it um, comes from a very, very sort of personal place, and the expression part of it comes from a very uh, sort of outward place. The good part of imagination is what can be. Uh, you can picture something, you can call your shot, you can paint a picture, you can make it happen, it can be done. Uh, all those things we talk about, imagination, you think it before you do it. The bad part of imagination is the uh, anxious part. I, th- I, th- I don't know, maybe it's imagination laced with fear. Um, the fear of things, I mean, it can be totally suffocating. I mean, you get people out there, who, they won't leave their house because of what might happen. Uh, sorry, Mike, I will not take a break. You can always cut it shorter, but you can't get it long. Imagination. 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 Possible scenarios. Imagination. Correct balance. Imagination. God is perfection. Imagination. Source of discontent. Imagination. Territorial emotions. Imagination. Dream trash. Imagination. Family fathers. Imagination. Art worthy. Imagination. Hey, hello, owner. Imagination. Mind. Imagination. Dark stars. Imagination. Reality check. Imagination. Ice goes tightly. Imagination. Across the street.